This program was brought to you by Terra Seasoning Cubes, Golden Terra Soya Oil, and Big Bull Rice. It was a rainy afternoon and I defied the rain to get home. I was nine years old and living with my grandparents. My bag was drenched and of course it contained my report card which said I'd finished bottom five of my class in primary five. I couldn't be bothered as I shivered in the cold. But Granny was bothered at the sight of me sitting in the corner all by myself shivering in the cold. She decided to get me out of my cold clothes into warm clothes and I decided to tell out the source of my discomfort. And Grandma proceeded to tell me the story of a young time as a secretary working with Thomas Edison and how he tried unsuccessfully to make the first light bill and how he tried and tried and never got it. But finally, he was able to make the greatest invention of all time. Now, when I grew up, I finally got to realize this was one of the many tales my grandma made up <laughs> to just comfort me. Well, now what followed up next was one of the greatest meals I have ever had in my life. Sorry, mom. So special was a bowl of amala and the way that my grandma made for me that I never ever finished the bottom of my class. I was always top of my class till this day going forward. And this is the magic of the meals that our grandmas make. And it will be a shame if we don't learn how grannies all around the world do it. And that is what this show is all about. So say hello to our resident grandma. Grandma Kate will be taking us on this exciting journey. Hello, grandma. Hello, fam. My name is Tolu and welcome to the Granny Kate Show by Terra. Welcome back everyone and it's still the Granny Kate Show by Tara and of course we have our wonderful Grandma Kate. Hello Grandma, how are you doing? I'm fine. Ah, I know, I love how you said you're fine. And I know that before we even go to what you have cooked, okay. what is the secret that you and all the grandmas have used to give us good food from generation to generation? Um, I was, my secret is the long time cooking. I've been cooking for a long time and I have love. For cooking. How many years, Grandma, have you cooked so we can tell the people who are watching? How many years? Uh, and when I've been cooking. How many years now? It's more than 50 ah, years. I wasn't born then. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't born at all. Okay, so that's a lot of experience. So we're going straight to what you have cooked. Ah. What is this, Grandma? Um, she's a native jollof rice. I don't know whether you found or you I've, tasted I've, it before. I've, I've heard of native jollof rice. I have actually. Yeah. But you know, I can't cook it like you would cook it, Grandma. Of course, of course. <laughs> so, what are the ingredients? <laughs> uh, the ingredients is um, uh, smoked fish. I want people to get that. Smoked fish. Okay. Uh -huh. um, iru. Iru. And scent leaves. Scent leaves. Um, pepper. Tomato. Tatashi, um, salt, and seasoning. Okay, so Grandma, I want to taste your food. Please, I think I'll just, please. Because I know I'm going to have to cook my own. Uh -huh. As you have cooked yours, and you're going to score me and rate me. I'm mm. happy to hear that. Because there are a lot of special ingredients in this food. Mm -hmm. mm. So I don't really know. To make this type of native jollof rice, how long did it take? For 45 minutes. You know I'm old. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a young woman. Uh, what will take you 15 minutes can take me uh, one hour. That's true. Mm. But now I'm attempting to maybe beat a record. Anyways, I'm trying to make it to say 10 to 15 minutes. Do you think that would be possible? Will I be able to even make it within I mean, that time? You will try. You will try. But uh, for me and people of my age, it's not as easy for us. Speaking of the fact that I want to make it in that short given time. You only have to try. Then I did to the kitchen. <laughs> okay, Grandma. I like how you said it. So I'll be following your step-by-step -step process and the list that you've given me. Go ahead. And I attempt to recreate it just as nice and tasty as I'm eating it at the same time, Grandma. So I'm going to just go straight to the kitchen. Right now. Go ahead. I'll make the native jollof rice just like the way you made it, Grandma. Yes. What will you give me if I get it right? Ah, <laughs> many things. Mm. 
Okay, so I'm up for the I challenge. I give now. you smoke fish, <laughs> big one okay. to use. All right, so I will take that challenge very straight and right now. So I'm going to the kitchen to make it and make the native jello fries just as grandma has made it and I tasted it. So let's get up and take up this challenge. Jello fries. Jello fries is a regular dish that, of course, is known to everyone in this part of the country. And Grandma has given me a time to be able to make jello fries in about 10 minutes. I want to be able to replicate her time record. So, of course, you know how to make jello fries. The first thing you need is your onions. I already put my oil on fire. It is right there. We have. We need the onions. We need ground pepper, which I put here. There's crayfish. Well, we want to add a bit of nativeness to this, and there's fish, just to have a different feel of taste to it. And there's our rice, of course. You know, our, our rice is always the most important thing. So we're going to be using the chicken tar, chicken seasoning cube, and this is the secret that I will be using and employing to beat my record because, of course, I'm on a record time i'm sure my grandma is going to come out right now so let's first start with the onions that i've already described as the main ingredient we'll put some onions because of oil Woo, look at that for the onions and of course we're going to be putting our ground ingredients that's the pepper tomato and pepper that's one thing with jollof rice you need flavor you need taste so i put the and um, of course our crayfish is going to do the magic crayfish is one ingredient that is really good in your cooking it just adds flavor. I use crayfish anytime I cook. Ooh. I mean, I haven't even put the seasoning cube yet. I'm already smelling and tasting nice. So put a bit of salt. Uh, put a bit of salt in there. You don't want to add too much salt. So it doesn't... Mm -hmm. One thing about salt is that put a bit of salt and then later put more salt for consistency to ensure. And of course, our, our special ingredient is the chicken stew's Terra seasoning cube. You can't go wrong with this. It locks in the aroma of any cooking. And for jello fries, you want it to taste really nice. Ooh, our jello fries are already smelling nice. Smelling so good. Uh -huh. There you have it. Okay, so we're gonna put rice, but let me put water inside because. Mm. Okay. Jello fries is easy to cook. I know there's a. Mm, 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 mm. Tasting nice. So we're gonna put water inside. Some people put the rice. Water is really important. Some people put the rice before the water. Depends how you want it, but I wanted to put the water first and then the rice. So we'll put our rice straight up. It's very easy to make. Of course, I have to beat this record in time, so I'm rushing quickly. So you might want to add a thickener, it depends on what you want, if it's a tomato paste. I think we'll just make it straight and plain. And remember, like I said, this is the ingredient that you need to give it an amazing taste. So we're going to cover it at this point. I think I'll add a bit of salt, a bit more salt, and then cover it. And cover it. 10, 15 minutes is done. Also need to jell um, jello fries. You want to add a bit of flair and taste to it. You want to add a bit of protein to it. So our dried fish, it just seems to be um, cropping up every single time. So I'm just going to be breaking the fish and then put it inside. I think we're also going to employ a roux to add that bit of flavor and taste to it. So we're putting everything together. You need a bit of protein. And because it's going to be like native jollof rice, um, there are different kinds of iru. There's iru, woro, yeah, and there's also iru pete. So we're just going to put this inside. Um, I think we're going to mix it with a bit of water or we'll just put it inside like that and it's going to come out nice. Ooh. Okay, so we're done. I'm gonna cover this up in 10 minutes and can't wait to see what grandma will say and attempting to beat her record. Okay, so 10 minutes and wait to see what happens. Okay, so you can see I'm rushing. I'm done with the native jollof rice and it smells so good. I'm rushing because grandma is waiting for me. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. So I feel like Terra Chicken Seasoning Cube will do the justice. We need to get out of here fast. I'm going. Bye-bye. And I'm on time. <laughs> grandma is rushing all the way just to get this time. So there you have it. Ah, I want you to serve yourself a taste. You tried though. You are very fast. Ah, I have to rush all the way and make sure I get all the ingredients and follow the step-by-step -step process that you oh, gave. Oh, very, very so good. So once you taste and eat it and serve yourself, Hammer. Let me know Very, what very about. good. Uh, it looks good and it, it smells fine. Mm, I used all mm. your ingredients. I put dried fish. I put mm. some, you know, as you said, I put pepper inside rice. 
I put everything that you asked me to do. Yes. Ah. Yes, I'm seeing you too. Whether your own is better than mine. Okay, so. Ah. Hmm. Okay. I can't wait to see what I have to do. You want to join me? Let me test. Mmm. So this is good. <laughs> okay. Very, so, very good. You like wow. it? You like it? Yeah, you must have been cooking before. Mm. Mm. Fantastic. Okay, nice. Fantastic. Very nice. Very tasteful. <laughs> I'm excited. What did you add? Mm. You must have added something extra for yes. my own recipe. Yes, yes, yes. It is a Terra seasoning cube. Of course, you know what it did? It helps me to lock in the aroma of this food and let the taste out. And it's so good to use. It tastes very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I will score you seven. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. That's so nice. I'm happy. At least that was a nice score. Yes. Uh -uh. I wish you to continue like this. So and I haven't been cooking. You we'll even do better than me. Than you. And yes. that's what I want. That's all I want. So can yeah. That's the most important part of yes. the fact that I cooked a meal that and you love it. That you plant it and you are doing better than because me. Because I just said yours and I gave you 10 over 10. There's no comparison. But for you to give me 7, it means the next one we'll be making, maybe I'll get 10 over 10. <laughs> all right. Thank Please. you, Grandma. <laughs> all right. That's where we wrap up Granny Kate Show by Tara. We'll see you on the next one.